Painter 3 Pro Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can create some interesting sort of depth and particle effects with using blurs. So right, first thing to do, I'm just going to go over to the brush tool and I'm just going to apply a feather brush. Just going to, of course I could choose any of the other brushes as well, they're all pretty interesting, feather brush. So just apply just some loose sort of really interesting sort of color effects and now of course you could use different gradients and I, so right got that as a background and now it's just a, a layer but I can also just go to the filter and blur and I can just add a nice blur to it so just change that click OK now you can go to a layer new layer and, and then just again apply another very loose and again you can apply more or less right. so I've got that there now I'm not actually going to blur that one so what I'm going to do now is going to go to layer and new layer so now I'm just going to apply another just very loose color across that and maybe add a little bit up there so now I'm just going to go and blur that so blur and you can modify the blur of course so just more or less so just click OK got it a maximum blur don't want that so I'm just going to reduce it down it's actually probably easier just to enter the value here I think because sometimes it has a tendency to decide it's going to fly off so 34 click OK now actually add another layer so layer new layer and then just again apply another there. Well, also I can go to the blur, so filter and blur, and instead of 34, I can go for say 10, just a slightly less. Click OK. Now go for layer again, new layer. So you can see basically you're just building up some real nice, nice sort of depth to this image. So you can just apply it in different areas don't have to obviously continue the brush stroke all the time you just maybe add little curls in certain areas and again you go to filter and blur and 10 instead of 10 maybe go for 5 click OK and maybe just finish off otherwise you just continue forever a new layer and just add a final just a flurry of sort of particles or smoke and of course this could be used for creating a smoke effect. Right, and there you have it. Basically now, just once you've got all those, just go over here to the layers palette and select all and just go to layer and merge layers. And there you have it. You've got a weird and wonderful sort of blurry sort of depth sort of particle spray image in a few seconds, a few minutes. Hope you found